But first, you would ask me, who is the doer? Man huwa al fa'ilu? Hmm. I assume that we have to rely on the paradigm fa'il to determine the questionable actions. And if this issue has to be evaluated grammatically, the description of the concept would be the active participle. That may be reflected by myself as an active performer or by yourself since you are a man of action as well as I am. We are all the real mirror image of this linguistic notion. The active participle. The so-called active participle is interpreted as a small file in Arabic and highlighted with the literal meanings of the name of the door or the noun of the door which is constructed based on the file template derived from form one verbs under the frame of Fa'ala. Fa'ala. The pattern fa'ala, form one, means to do, to act, to perform, to be alive, full of life. You have just to commit a crime by plunging that alif in between the first and second radicals along with shifting the fatha, if it's not a kasra, of the second radical to a kasra, with the E sound, that actually insinuates defeat, kasra, defeat, manifested after the abrupt attack of the dagger alif. Basically, the active participle is an adjective closely associated in meaning to the meaning of its verb. Nevertheless, it is often also used as a noun. In a nutshell, the active participles of the most, if not all, form one verbs are derived in the same way as I featured. Just plunging the alif in between and changing the fatha to a kasra, if it's not there. They are made feminine by the addition of the tied ta, the joint ta, the circular one, and will usually take masculine or feminine sound plurals when referring to human beings as adjectives, as observed with the example of writers, katib, a writer, katibun, that un is the sign of the masculine sound plural, katibat, Feminine sound plural. However, when used as nouns, either referring to human beings or inanimate objects, inanimate, jamid, jamid is the active participle of jamada, jamid, inanimate. They often take broken plurals. So, the broken plurals of Katib writers are Kutab, Kataba. 
The derivation of the active participles can be categorized based on the type and form of verbs. When I say the type, I mean, for example, a sound verb, a hollow verb, a defective verbs, and forms mean form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4, etc., with different patterns, as form 1's pattern is fa'ala or fa'ila. As for today's lesson, I will be focusing on form 1 sound verbs, the ones that are exempt from weak letters, the alif, the well, and the ya, the one that cause trouble. So dear accomplices, our crime is plunging the dagger into the heart of the victim. Form one sound verbs that will reincarnate in an active participle which actually looks like a good deed, not a sin to be ashamed of. Do you agree with your weirdo teacher? قتل القاتل في القتال So with three radicals of form one verb قتل we were able to form the verb, the subject and the object of the sentence. So قتل to kill القاتل is the subject of قتل in the nominative case with the sign of دم a single one because this is a definite noun. It is an active participle. And al qital is the object of qatala. It's a noun. So the killer killed in combat. Hakama al hakimu ala al athimi. Hakama, you have three radicals. Ha, kaf, and mim. Hakama, to convict, to judge. Al hakim, the judge. So the judge convicted the criminal. Athim, the verb athima. So you have the verb athima. And for the active participle, what do we do? We just plunge an alif in between the first radical, which is a hamza, and the second radical, which is the tha. My weird tha. A thim. So with these two, what do we do? We combine them to a an alif madda with a circumflex, a thim. So this is the active participle of a thima. So the judge convicted the criminal, a thim, al a thim, the criminal. And Hakama is construed with the preposition ala. Hakama ala. Kitab al katibu al bari'u kitaban bahiran. We have too many active participles in here. So, kitab al katibu. Al katib is the subject of kitab. And it is an active participle. Al bari'u. Al-Bari'u is its modifying adjective matching in number and gender and definiteness and case. From the verb Bara'a, Bara'a to excel. So Al-Bari'a, the remarkable writer wrote. So you flip the whole thing while translating. Kataba Al-Katibu Al-Bari'u. So we start from Al-Bari'a, the remarkable 
writer al katib wrote what did he write kitaban bahiran bahiran is the active participle of bahara bahara to dazzle so kitaban is the object of kataba and it has tanwin because it is indefinite and of course its modifying adjective will match in everything kitaban bahiran so the remarkable writer wrote a brilliant book bahiran a brilliant book qara'a we have qaf ra hamza qara'a to read qara'a what is the active participle of qara'a qari' what did we do we just we had just to plunge the alif in between first and second radical easy qari' and the fatha of the ra the stem, the stem vowel would turn to a kasra. Qari'. So the reader read the Quran. Qara al qari'u al Qur'ana. Same radicals. Qaf, ra, hamza. Qara al qari'u al Qur'ana. It sounds beautiful. So the reader read the Quran. Azafa. Azafa to play music. Azafa and the active participle is Al Azif. Azif. Azafa Al Azifu Al Piano. So the player or the musician or the pianist, the musician played piano. Azafa Al Azifu Al Piano. Laiba. Rhymes with fa'ila. We already have that stem vowel. We already have the kasra. So we need just the alif to be placed in between the first and second radical. So, la'iba, al-la'ibu. La'iba, al-la'ibu, lu'bata, al-shatranji. La'iba, al-la'ibu, lu'bata, الشطرنجي. So لعبة الشطرنج is the object of لعبة. لعبة is in the um, what case the accusative because it is the object of the verb. And this is a possessive construction with first term, second term. إضافة لعبة الشطرنج. Chess game. So the player the player لعب played لعب 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 the player played chess game لعب اللعب لعبة الشطرنج بحث to research بحث a researcher active participle of بحث so بحث الباحث عن بحث is construed with the preposition عن بحث بحث عن بحث الباحث عن الاحتباس الحراري what is this الاحتباس الحراري means global warming but it is not translated word for word so الاحتباس is like restriction something is stuck and الحراري thermal like Thermal restriction, but الاحتباس الحراري is global warming. So بحث الباحث عن الاحتباس الحراري. The researcher researched about عن global warming. أنا فاهم ماذا تعني. فاهم is the active participle of Fahima to understand. The active participle does not indicate the time because it's not conjugated in the past, present or future. It is just indicating the action. Ana fahimun. And the feminine ana fahimatun. Antum fahimuna du una. Hunna fahimat. 
uh, he met the feminine sound plural. So, ana fahimun, I understand. I understand what you mean. Mada, what? Mada, ta'ni. What you mean? Ana fahimun, mada, ta'ni. Ta'ni. Ana sakinatun fi Amerika. Or ana askunu. So, sakana to live. Ana sakinatun. Fi America, I live, I live in America. So you may use the verb or its active participle. They would mean the same. All right. Ana askunu fi America or ana sakinatun fi America. I live in America. Anta labisun. Labis from the verb labisa. Rhymes with fa'ila. Already have the kasra, the stem vowel. Labisa, to dress. To get dressed. So, ana labisun bi shaklin la iqin. Bi shaklin la iqin. This expression means properly. Bi shaklin la iqin. La iq is the active participle of. لاقة. Alright. So, بشكل لائق properly. لهذه المناسبة. لهذه. For this. لي stands for for and هذه this. For this. In one word. لهذه. It's attached. We always have to attach لي to whatever comes after. It can stand by itself. So weak. So, لهذه. Al-munasabati. And because al-munasaba is preceded by li, it will be in the genitive with the sign of kasra. Because li is a preposition. Li hadhi al-munasabati. So, anta labisun. Or anti labisatun. Feminine. Anta labisun bi shaklin la yaqin li hadhi al-munasabati. So, you are dressed properly for this occasion huwa kharij al maktabi huwa kharij kharij from the verb kharaja to go out kharij out of so he is out of the office and kharij al maktabi is an idafa construction genitive construction or we say pose Possessive construction, first term, second term. خارجو المكتبي It's called genitive construction because the second term or last term, if we have more than two terms, is in the genitive with the sign of كسرة. هو خارجو المكتبي He is out of the office. The patient is still unconscious. The patient. المريض that still is rendered with لا يزال or ما زال لا يزال stands for still and it needs a noun and predicate noun in the nominative case and the uh, predicate is in the accusative there are lessons about all these concepts so لا يزال المريض in the nominative المريض and that unconscious is translated with a compound word again an idafa construction فاقد الوعي فاقد is an active participle of فقد فقد to lose lose فاقد الوعي الوعي consciousness فاقد الوعي consciousness means here unconscious so لا يزال المريض فاقد الوعي so do we know do we now know what the doer did I think so he has been so active so actions are generated by people and illustrated by active.
active participles. This is what we call teamwork. See you later. Araakum lahiqan. Lahiq is the active participle of lahiqa. See, these active participles are everywhere. So look for them. Goodbye.